All because something looks profitable, it doesn't mean you could sell it even if you're ungated. You're gonna literally get your account suspended or terminated. And you know, you got some TikToker or YouTuber or whatever going in, walking around with their phone. They're getting like 50,000 views, it's hilarious. And they're showing it and it shows one seller on the listing. And then I'll go and I'll look and it's the brand. Dum dum. Hey guys, if you're selling on Amazon, you've gotta be careful not to get IP complaints. I've made a lot of videos about this in the past. As I'm sitting here chilling on the couch, I wanted to make another video because over and over again, I see comments, people getting in trouble with IP complaints. And the reality is even students of mine, I've got videos and training for them. People, they just ignore it. They don't think they're gonna get an IP complaint. And the reality is if you sell on Amazon long enough, if you're not doing these five things that I'm gonna share, you're hundred percent gonna get an IP complaint and eventually you could get suspended or kicked off. I'm not here to fear monger and scare you. It's just the truth. Things are changing on Amazon. You've gotta be careful. And just because you're ungated and Amazon says you're allowed to sell an item, it doesn't mean they're gonna not screw you. So so let's share five ways that you can prevent getting IP complaints, which are intellectual property complaints. Essentially a brand is tattletaling on you to Amazon, essentially saying they don't have right to sell. They're not an author authorized seller. And you can even be a wholesaler, have invoices OA. It doesn't matter. They could come after you, especially if you're coming sourcing from distributors, eBay to Amazon, thrifting, all that stuff. You've got to be careful. The good news is I've sold over almost 20,000 products in the last two years. My account's perfectly clean. I've had a couple issues, but there's ways to mitigate the risk and that's what I wanna cover in this video. So with that being said, let's get into tip number one. So tip number one is gonna be a software. You don't have to get this. I would say it's like 80 to 90% good. It's IP alert. You might've heard of it. I'll put a link on the screen, rakenprofit.com slash IP alert. Use the code raken30, but this is a Chrome extension that will pop up the various sales pages on Amazon. And if an item is in the database, of IP alert and it's known, <laughs> I put quotes because it's not always 100% accurate, but if it's known to give sellers IP complaints or issues, it'll come up with a warning on the screen. It's a great tool. I think it's a hundred bucks a year or a couple hundred bucks for a lifetime license. It's a no brainer if you know, you're know you serious about growing your Amazon business. Number two, and this is free, I'm gonna try to give you guys as many free options as possible. Before you sell an item on Amazon, and it's funny, I see these TikToks and people on YouTube like, going through retail stores like, oh, I could buy this item for 20 and flip it for 60. And they're showing it and it shows one seller on the listing. And then I'll go and I'll look and it's the brand. Dumb, dumb, don't sell that. You're gonna get an IP complaint. It's so funny to me how people, like the viewers on YouTube, they love to get lied to and they don't do any research. Guys, stop getting lied to. All because something looks profitable, it doesn't mean you could sell it even if you're ungated. You're gonna literally get your account suspended or terminated if the brand is on the listing, right? Say you find an item at freaking TJ Maxx and it's Joe Schmo brand. And you know, you got some TikToker or YouTube or whatever going in, walking around with their phone. They're getting like 50,000 views. It's hilarious. I'm jealous, but seriously, it's like, it's, it's doing more harm than good. And you see Joe Schmo brand, you could buy it at uh, whatever, TJ Maxx for 20, it's selling for 60. And Joe Schmo brand is the only one on the listing with 300, you're gonna get an IP complaint, most likely. Now you could look inside a Keepa and look at the buy box statistics and the number of sellers. And if there's sharp declines, I'm gonna talk all about this. But if the storefront, like if the brand is on the listing, right? Jimmy John hot dogs, whatever. If they're on the listing and you see the same name as the storefront, stay away from that stuff. You're gonna get an IP complaint. Number three, sharp drops in sellers. So. What I mean by this is you can use Keepa to take a look at the number of sellers on the listing. And you could track this over a period of time. So maybe six months ago there were 10, and then five months ago nine, and then eight, seven, then six, and then 10. Like it goes up and down. You could see the number of sellers on a listing. A red flag is if there's 10 sellers and boom, drops to one and then it, like stays at one or like, and then it go, like, or then it goes back to like 20 and then it goes, like if it goes 20, 19, 18, like that's fine, that's natural. But sharp declines in the number of sellers, massive, massive red flag. Either people are getting kicked off due to IP complaints or there could be some restriction issues possibly. You don't really know what it is, but a sharp drop in sellers is a massive, massive red flag. If you literally start buying items where the storefront's on the listing, IP alert is saying not to buy it, maybe there's only one or two sellers on the listing, maybe they're big wholesale distributors or it's the brand, you're literally going to like, you should go to your favorite TikTok, uh, YouTube video, whatever, and, and go thank them for getting kicked off. 
The funny thing is 90% 90, 90 of people watching these videos, they're just watching it for entertainment and they're not doing anything with it. But sharp drop in sellers, not good. Also, I already mentioned it number four, but I'll say it again, less than two sellers. Go into Keepa before you buy an item. If you land on a sales page, if you have Keepa, it'll pop up. Go down to the third box at the bottom and look at the number of sellers. If there's a history of there only being one to two sellers, like forever, check to see if it's the brand on the listing, see if their storefront matches the brand, or make sure it's not like Amazon on the listing only or like massive wholesale sellers on it with like 10,000 reviews. A lot of those, you're just highly inclined to get an IP complaint. Now there's nuances to it and I'm sure there's people watching like, whoa, those are some of my bread and butter. I'm sure there's you know, uh, nuances and there's exceptions to the rule, but as a general rule of thumb, stay away from listings with just less than a couple sellers. And then Google brand with IP complaint. So if you're unsure about Joe Schmo brand, type into Google, Joe Schmo brand IP complaint or post in like your favorite Facebook group or community and see if anyone's talking about it or complaining about that. A lot of times, you know, people will warn about this. Even if you Google like top brands to avoid IP complaints, there's some really good blog posts that share hundreds of different brands. Now, they're not all accurate because I've sold literally thousands of items and sometimes I'm like, wait, I've never had issues with this. And you can see looking in Keepa like the number of sellers, declines, if IP alert is there, like there's way, like it's all about mitigating risk, right? But Google it, ask people, ask your friends, network, right? And see what folks are saying if they've had issues. So hopefully this will help you. Again, I'm not here to kiss your butt in this video and trying to get 60 million views or whatever. Like I'm trying to tell you what's gonna help and what's gonna save you from getting in trouble, okay? So be careful, guys. A lot of people are gonna show you things that look great, but actually, if you actually were to sell it, you're gonna get in trouble. So let me know if this helped. Leave a comment down below. With that being said, much love, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.